Hi everybody and welcome to number three of our art classes and um, they all seem to be going pretty well and I've really enjoyed seeing all the paintings you've done. So this week we're going to be painting a red squirrel and here he is, he's so cute. So I'll take a photograph and put it on WhatsApp so you've all got that. And this is how my squirrel turned out. It's a pretty loose squirrel, a lot of fun to do and um, a little bit abstracted. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to tell you the, um, the, the colours I use. So Lulu, could you zoom in? <clears throat> Thank you, darling. So I've got burnt sienna, Indian red. If you don't have Indian red, just make, just use um, burnt umber and red mixed together or, or burnt sienna and a little bit of burnt umber. Um, raw umber, burnt umber, yellow ochre, Payne's grey, of course a little bit of purple lake and sap green. Okay, let's get started. Lulu, do you want to get yourself a seat, honey? Right, so um, I'm gonna start with the eyes like I always do. Just pop him there, Lulu, that's all right. Yeah. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a number eight brush and a number two brush, just because his eyes, the one I've drawn out is very little. Um, so it's quite detailed. So I'm just going to start with his eye. Obviously, we've got this lovely glint in his eye, haven't we? Which I'm just going to paint around so that I remember not to go over it. So something like that. So I'm going to put a lot of detail in his eye. Just because I think if you abstract the rest of it, it's all a little bit more believable. But you can, you know, you don't have to do that, make it your own. You don't have to do such fine art with it. You can, you know, abstract the whole thing, really. Right, so a cusping the eye, when you get your picture, you'll see is the inner lid. And I'm just going to paint all of that in. So like I say, pretty, pretty detailed, really, to begin with. That's it. We'll do the second eye now. And I'll probably just make a little bit more of the highlight. Make that slightly bigger. like that. It's going to reduce that highlight a little bit. There, that's better. There's one side of the um, squirrels in light and the other side's dark so we're just going to make a little bit more of that as well. And I'm just going to go and get a little bit of raw umber. Just do this little detail around the eye. A little bit of raw or umber here, and that, that's his eyelid, isn't it? Holding his eye in place. So I'm just gonna do the outline of it, and what I'll do is I'll tickle that in later on. So just a little bit like that, so his, his eye, eye feels like it's held in place. And then I'll do the same on the other side with some more umber. Just a little bit of light there. I'm just going to put a little bit of raw umber on the other side of that Payne's grey there. And here. There. Okay, so we can start painting the rest of our lovely squirrel now. So I'm just going to get a larger brush. And I'm just going to start with a little bit of yellow ochre. 
and I'm just going to put a wash on. Remember how strong yellow ochre is as a colour, as a pigment. Really, really strong. So I'm just going to softly put that on there. His little mouth. I'm desperate to start singing because I've got music on today. I've got one of my favourite artists on, Nick Drake. But I won't, I won't sing for you. Mummy's got the worst singing voice ever, haven't I, darling? Yeah. So I'm just putting a little bit more yellow ochre at the sides, a little bit softer moving in. And then I'm just going to pop um, his little nose on. So he's, I'm going to put his nose on in uh, burnt umber. Just like that, and then if a little bit just flows out into that yellow ochre wash, all well and good, that's what we want. All just lovely and soft and loose. Don't, don't really want to get any hard lines. The only hard lines we're going to get are those, are the ones we just did of the eye. Everything else we just want to work in little sections and just have it really, really soft. Loose and... Um, just feeling effortless. I'm just going to put a little bit of yellow, um, burnt sienna up here now. Not burnt sienna. Yes, burnt sienna. There, just on his little nose. So that's that more or less done now. Really, really easy, isn't it? And then <clears throat> just going to get another bit of yellow ochre. Just a little bit of a light wash. And this is just going to go up here. And just soften there. And do the other side so that that side's drying. So that when I put more colour in in a minute, I'll have a bit more control. Just going to put that yellow ochre oh, just coming down here, like that. And then I'm just going to get a little bit of burnt umber. And I'm just going to put it on these, you know, this flick of his um, above his eyes. Slightly surprised look that he's got, hasn't he? because of it. So if too much leaks down, it's fine, we can pull it out. But we're just trying to get this softness, aren't we? Okay, so I'm just going to bring this down around this side of his eye, because like I say, this side of his face is a lot darker. Let's just get a little bit brown in there. Okay, so that's, um, that was burnt umber that I've just put in there. His little face is starting to come together now. Okay, so now I've got burnt sienna. So I'm sorry I'm changing colours around so much. Just going to do a little bit of a wash. Of that. Hopefully that little bit of yellow up is still a bit wet, so that'll bleed in there. So we just want that to be quite strong. And then on the other side as well. All right, darling. <laughs> so I'm just blending that all in now. A little bit more burnt umber just on this side of this cheek because we've got a lot of more depth of colour here. And there. Right, and we're going to start moving to the top of his head now. So again, I'm just going to use a really, really soft colour and I'm just going to get um, a wash of my Indian Red. Just the lightest wash so that I've covered it with a bit of colour. Just a little bit of colour, you see? Blend that all in. So what we've got, just have an idea of this. Just, just trying to introduce some more fun colours now. So I've got that on and all I want to do is just say that as he's coming down, he's got a really light forehead and then as he comes down, there's a dimple in, isn't there? And then his nose comes out again. So we're going to represent that with just slightly deeper tone, a, a darker value of um, Indian red there. And suddenly then that feels more like he's got a bit more structure to his face. And then I'm just going to get a little bit of green because as you've noticed in my painting, I have introduced green to him again just for a, a bit of interest. Just a little bit of green there. Don't be afraid. If it's too much, you can always remove it. 
So I'm just going to blend that out now a bit more, just help it along. Okay, so it's starting to come together. I'm just going to lift out a bit more of that colour there, just so that I want that, the forehead to feel really light. And then maybe just get a little bit more burnt umber in there. Okay. Okay, let's get his ears done now. So his ears I'm going to do in <clears throat> Indian red. And these are a lot of fun. There. Put a bit of Indian red on there. Don't fill it all in. Try and keep your paint really light because we are doing um, a lot of coats and if you use your paint too thickly and keep layering up it'll just become more like a poster paint which is not what we want. Look, his little face is starting to come together now, so cute. Okay so now I've got some burnt umber. I'm just going to bring that depth of colour down here because you know, we've got the, the light and the shade of his face. And actually, we need to make just slightly more of that to make it feel a little bit more um, three-dimensional. A little bit of uh, burnt umber in there. Okay, so now I'm just going to move a little bit of this colour down. Because it was just too, the values, the tones were just too different there. I'm just going to get a little bit of um, burnt sienna now, a little bit of orange in there, his little ears, and I think I'm just going to put a little bit of orange here as well, just in there. Okay, now. This, these white lines that I've left under his eye are too strong. So I'm just going to use the paint that's already there. And I'm just going to move that paint up. Up and around his eye like that. So we just don't have that hard line. This 